This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Friday, September 15th, 2018. The title of this rant is Californication, the world's fifth largest economy, increases its commitment to renewable energy. So uh, this week, Governor Jerry Brown, a progressive governor, uh, with the uh, it signed legislation voted in by the legislature, a progressive legislature that does a number of tremendously important things. Number one, uh, it, it it will increase. Uh, it will indicate that utilities need to get 50 percent of their energy from renewable energy by 2026. That's four years less than what it was before. And the big thing is, is that this, all public utilities will need to get 100% of their energy from renewable sources by 2045. A tremendous, tremendous uh, goal that we need to go after. Now, in addition to that, let's also remember that this legislature with Jerry Brown has also uh, passed legislation to decrease greenhouse gas emissions by 40% below 1990 levels. Tremendous, again, a great concrete goal that, we need to, that all states need to be going after. Also, the legislature, uh, there, is, there is a cap and trade program in California, uh, basically to help and encourage corporations to decrease their emissions. The state also has a program to encourage and promote the purchase of electronic vehicles. So let's just look at this. With all the crazy stuff in Washington, uh, the hurricane that's going on, the fact that this administration decreased uh, uh, um, uh, the regulations in terms of methane gas emissions just this week. California, as a leader, is taking concrete steps. They have achievable and attainable goals uh, that if every state committed to, we would be on a very good path uh, in terms of reducing our carbon footprint and reducing, let's just say, uh, 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 greenhouse gas emissions, etc. And of course, the nation should take the, the, the lead of California in all states. Again, if we look at it this way, if all states had a progressive governor and a progressive legislature, this could be enacted in every single state throughout the country. But of course, we cannot expect uh, some of these states to do that. And of course, we cannot expect anything from that from this current administration. And we need to get rid of them. But I want to talk, in essence, because of what California has done. And we know that this stuff is true. And we really now need to go after these climate change deniers. Because number one, they're all from the GOP. <laughs> and they have been aided and abetted, let's just say, by an incredibly deceitful campaign waged for the last 40 years uh, by corporations and their subgroups and their PACs in conjunction with the GOP, in conjunction with Fox News, you know, uh, to, to deny what we know is actually going on. And it continues to this day. Remember, Republicans in the early 90s and late 80s were kind of for this thing that we needed to do things to reduce. We had acid rain, remember that? And remember, you know, we enacted legislation to get rid of uh, lead in gasoline in the mid-70s. So, but once they figured out, these Republicans, and the Republican Party is a lot different than it was back in the early 1990s, late 80s. But once they figured out that, hey, this is a very, uh, this is something that only government must take the lead on, that government must set the standards, the government must accelerate us uh, to these goals. Then they said, oh, well, we can't have big government doing this, and they denied all of it. So, but we must start calling out these climate change deniers and all of their sycophants, uh, all of their stooges, and everyone else for who they really are. And that is environmental terrorists. And we need to get rid of every one of them in every legislature throughout the entire country.